In this lesson I'm going to show you how to add depth of field to your renders. Depth of field is something that can be added in your camera. So here's a few examples in the real world. Um, you can see it adds some photorealism to your images. So let's take a look at how we can do this in our scene. So if you open up your scene and we'll go to the top view by pressing T and Z to zoom out, press F3 to see the wireframe. And what we do is select our camera, we'll right click, hit move, holding shift we'll drag it in the Y axis, make it a copy and we'll call it DOF underscore 1 for depth of field and hit OK. And if you press C you'll go into that viewport. We've still got clipping on so if we click here, select camera, go to the modifier, and find clipping and turn that off. Now I think it'll be cool if we zoom in on the pillows here so using the middle mouse button we can navigate and also using the tools down here we can zoom in and pan around. Now I think it'll be better if we do it as a square image so if we go up to the render setup and let's turn the padlock off and we'll make it 1200 by 1200 And let's just line this up to get an interesting scene. We can actually turn off snaps to make, make it easier to navigate. But yeah, I think something along them lines looks pretty cool. So also make sure your safe frames are on if you want to see what you're going to render. You can do that by pressing Shift F. Now if we go back to the top view by pressing T, Z and we'll press F3. So we want to make sure our camera is on targeted and we want to enable depth of field and we'll change our camera to 35mm and we'll also put on specify field of view and you want to have that on around 51 and bring your aperture down to 2.5. Then using this we can zoom it in and out. Where the target is is where it will be in focus, so around 82 looks good. And now if we go back to the camera view, turn off the wireframe, and we wait a minute, you'll see the effect it's having in the viewport. So our pillows are in focus. So if we go back to the render settings, and in V-Ray and output, the frame buffer, and we'll change that to a new folder. We we'll call it depth of field. And we'll hit save. And then you can hit render. Now the depth of field will add some render time, but it looks great. So when that's finished rendering, you should end up with something like this. Um, you can then go ahead and use the post-production techniques I showed you in the Photoshop tutorial. So in this lesson, we've learned how to create close-up cameras and add depth of field.